This truly is a special occasion tonight. Thank you so much um, for coming out uh, again from, from our parents, students, and everybody in school. Uh, we just truly appreciate that. So another really exciting thing about the Tech Lab is that once it really gets up and running, we hope to bring students from other schools uh, over here to see it. And before they had to go all the way up to Falls Church if they wanted to experience the kinds of things that they'll be doing here. And so they will be very much immersed in these STEAM activities in that room and, and I guess spend several hours there. That's my, that's my understanding, yeah, right? One day experience. Yeah, Absolutely. that's, that will be a day that they will remember. Well, I, got, I got here early so I could take a few minutes to go in and just look at the lab and, and nose around a little bit. And it just looks like so much fun. I can't imagine more fun way to learn. Um, I was always a button pusher when I was a kid. So I'm sitting there, I wanted to plug things in and it's like I gotta keep my hands off of it because it just looks, <laughs> looks so fun. Um, there's a little submarine. Who I don't know who did the submarine, but very good. So I started my career in the, as a submarine officer. So I really want to see the submarine. So you're gonna tell me about that, right? <laughs> That looks like so much fun. But I, I want to thank everybody that was involved. Um, uh, I think it's great that we can do partnerships like this. Qualcomm, uh, so just a brief little story about Qualcomm. They are um, based out of San Diego, and they're in charge primarily of running the, uh, I would call it the guts of a cell phone. They were uh, kind of worked on the 4G, right now they're working on the 5G network, and so they, they run what allows us to com communicate uh, through our cell phone. And so what they've done in, in terms of uh, jobs, they looked at what are the jobs in, in this coming year in 2018, 1 .3, about 1.3 million jobs are going to be unfulfilled that are STEAM related, which is science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And so what they decided to do is, you know what, let's build a lab, they built it in San Diego, and they said let's build a lab that can begin to uh, give kids a passion for engineering, for problem solving, let's do that at a at a young age they also there was they probably I would imagine also wanted to say you know what and the ones that really shine let's also hire them down the road but uh, but I thought it was very ingenious of them and as they built this lab it was it was such great success they then decided to partner with uh, Virginia Tech congratulations on the launch of your tech lab at Cedar Point we are so sorry we could not be there in person but wanted to pass along our sincere appreciation for all the hard work you've done we really believe in this stem for all philosophy in fact, when we decided to reach out to elementary schools initially, which was different from what Qualcomm uh, did, we insisted that if we invite a school, the entire grade has to come. We don't just want an exclusive club or, or subset of students to come. And uh, I see that same philosophy extended here, not only within the school, but within all Prince William schools who can get here. Uh, already this lab has made an impact. We're now planning a lab for Woodbridge, perhaps next summer, and uh, trying to get both ends of the county engaged. Uh, and I think it's also a wonderful compliment to the competitive robotics programs that exist here in Prince William. Uh, cyber warfare and cyber security folks will tell you that some of the most vulnerable aspects of hardware are those little black boxes that we never look inside but rely on so much. And uh, when you have young kids building the insides of these black boxes, which by the way, they film that video on an Android device which runs on the same C++ software that, that these kids are programming with. Uh, you, they know what's going on inside and they know it's vulnerable. They know how to protect themselves. Best of all, since these young kids in the, the rows here will likely be still working full time in 2074 or 2075, they're building the communication skills and the technical skills to be adaptable and flexible in a workplace that most of us can't yet imagine. We were delighted to go to Virginia Tech on a field trip, and I watched my students throughout the day completely engaged in learning. They were having fun, but they were using C++ code, which is very adult code. Uh, they were collaborating. They were failing, and some of them never even ended up with a, a project that worked at the end of the day. However, a wonderful aspect of the field trip is at the end of the day, they're on a microphone, they present what they've done, and they talk about the ups and the downs, which is very important. 
So we leave the lab, the kids are delighted. This is the best field trip ever. They're clapping right now. This is the best field trip ever. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. And I was sad because I knew we could never go back. And that's when we started thinking and talking with Ms. Cribbs started talking and with the incredible staff talking about how can we get this lab here.